Today we want to talk about solving radical functions, and to do so we're going to walk through a book problem, and it's on page 251, and we're going to go through 5b. 5b is the square root of 6x squared plus 95 divided by 5 equals x plus 2. And on the left, everything is under the radical. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of that radical. In order to get rid of it, we square both sides. Squaring a square root makes it go away. After doing that, we're left with 6x squared plus 95 divided by 5 equals... Well, x plus 2 squared is the same as x plus 2 times x plus 2. So foiling that out, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4. And now to get rid of the fraction on the left, we want to multiply both sides by 5. The 5s will cancel on the left. And it'll leave us with 6x squared plus 95 equals, distribute the 5 on the right, 5x squared plus 20x plus 20. And now we want to move everything to the left side of the equation, set it equal to 0, and then we can apply the quadratic formula or factoring in order to find the solutions. So, moving 5x squared to the left... We subtract 5x squared from both sides. That leaves us with x squared. Moving 20x to the left, which means we subtract 20x from both sides, leaves us with negative 20x. Subtracting 20 from both sides leaves us with positive 75. This equals 0. Now we'll zoom out to give us some more space to work with. Now we use our quadratic. x squared minus 20x plus 75 equal to 0. And I'm going to use the quadratic formula, and we'll be able to find the two solutions for x. So negative b is negative negative 20 plus or minus the square root of negative 20 squared minus 4ac, which is 1 times 75 all over 2a, which is 2 times 1. Now this becomes negative negative 20 is positive 20, plus or minus the square root of negative 20 squared is 400. 4 times 1 times 75 is 300, so minus 300, all over 2. This becomes 20 plus or minus 400 minus 300 is 100. The square root of 100 is 10, all over 2. And this equals 20 plus 10, or 20 divided by 2 is 10, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now, 10 plus 5 is 15, 10 minus 5 is 5. So according to this, our solutions are x equals 15, or x equals 5. Let's double check this. Let's put it back into our original equation, make sure that it works out. Give ourselves more space to work with. So if we have our original equation of the square root of 6x squared plus 95 divided by 5 equals x plus 2, and we plug 15 in for x, we get square root of 6 times 15 squared plus 95 divided by 5 equals 15 plus 2. 15 squared is 225 times 6 is 1350 and plus 95 is 14 1445 divided by 5 
equals 17. 1445 divided by 5 is 289. And the square root of 289 equals 17. And that checks out. So if you'd like, you can go back and plug in 5 for x and verify that both solutions work. Um, we have now verified that 15 works for this solution and have now solved a radical expression.